Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving simultaneous equations using graphs. There's two types of questions that you might see, we'll cover both in this video. Uh, the first is when you have two linear graphs. So we'll go through it just by uh, looking at an example. So we have uh, the example by plotting their graphs for values of x between minus 1 and 4 on the same axes. Uh, find the solution to the two simultaneous equations below. So the equations are y equals 2x minus 5 and y equals minus x plus 4. Now in order to draw these graphs we could construct a table of values and then uh, plot the x values between minus 1 and 4 then work out the corresponding y values but instead I'm just going to do this by inspection uh, because I'm good enough at drawing straight lines but you can just use whichever method you prefer. Uh, so for the first one y equals 2x minus 5 uh, well that's a gradient of 2 which means it goes up 2 for everyone it goes across and it crosses the y axis at minus 5. So if we draw the line it should look something like this. Uh, and then for the second one, uh, so that's y equals minus x plus 4. Uh, so that means it crosses the y-axis at plus 4, and it's a gradient of minus 1, which means that for every one square you go across, uh, you go down one as well. So if you line everything up, draw the line, it should look something like this. So those are our two equations. Let's label them on the graph. So that's equation 1, that's equation 2. Uh, now the solution is where the two lines cross over. So that's this point here. Uh, which, as you can see, that is the point 3, 1. Uh, now, uh, that's an x value of 3 and a y value of 1, so the solution, therefore, is x equals 3, y equals 1. If you'd like to get some more practice with this topic, then you can have a go at our Simultaneous Equations with Graphs online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and you'll find loads of different questions to help you prepare for your exam, uh, and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. Uh, so you can keep track of the areas that you're weakest at in this topic. Uh, if you're interested, then click the link below, it'll take you straight there.